Getting a much better look at the damage left behind after a house exploded in Truro. Here on the left, you can see the massive fire that happened just moments after the explosion. And here on the right, you can see the aftermath. What is left? And it's not much. You can see furniture and clothing scattered all across the area. WBZ's Laura Hayfley spoke with a woman who grew up in that home and was next door at the time. Just to give you an idea of how significant this damage is, you can see the property behind me completely destroyed. Items from the house actually up in those trees. And if you look across the street, items and pieces of the home are laid out here as well. Both neighbors and the homeowners tell us they're grateful. Everybody's okay. A Truro beach house blew up Thursday. The explosion fell from blocks away. The sound was so loud, we, we, for a moment, thought that it could be our own house that's exploding. The blast so severe, items from the house were sent flying for miles. We found this letter laying on our driveway. This letter after that explosion traveled all the way to your house? It did. The letter belongs to the Henning family, whose home is now gone. I couldn't wrap my head around it. I couldn't believe that it was real and that it was, it is gone. Our WBZ crew spoke to Anna Henning, who lived in the Harding's Way home with her parents. There was no cable. Uh, there was no street lights. There was no paved road. Um, there was just wilderness. Her mom, Miriam, and dad, Todd, still live on the property and were inside of this cottage house, just steps away from the main house when it exploded. The windows of that house apparently were blown out. They had to evacuate. They are staying with a neighbor, um, and they are safe. Fire officials tell WBZ it's practically a miracle. No one was home, and neighbors weren't injured. Anna Henning grateful for the same. It still feels very surreal, um, but immediately following that thought of how, what was just extreme gratitude that my parents are okay. Now, investigators tell us there is still a lot of work to do to figure out what caused this explosion. They tell us they're actually going to have to bring in heavy machinery to move some of this debris to be able to get to the bottom of exactly what happened. In Truro, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News. Wow.